No, no, no. Should I tell you why? Okay, recently, they say in the anger with whiskey. Do you know how much in pay to anger with whiskey? Everybody with pays my to anger with whiskey. Hey! Wait, 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 before we move further, try as much as possible to click that like button and uh, subscribe if you have not and uh, invite your friends and make sure you leave a comment as you watch guys. Well, that is Uche and uh, a former Big Brother Ninja housemate. Uche is claiming that recently when, the, uh, uh, last year now, during the Ember month, December precisely, when Lagos State was still really booming, well, he is insinuating that when David Doe and Whiskey, the photo of them hanging out the videos, that uh, David Doe paid Whiskey to hang out with him. <laughs> In as much as even Whiskey fans who do not really like uh, David Doe, <laughs> In as much as anybody no like David Doe, of course, you guys know, say that guy just the young rubbish. The yarn rubbish. Well, I have a really, really good news for you guys. Really, really good news. Good, sweet news. Are you guys ready for the news? Good one. Well, before I start, can you kindly tell me what's the news? Huh? Leave your comment below and tell me what news. But this news is fine. Like, Best news of, from this year for Adam Slinker viewers, all the other channel viewers, wherever I want to post this video to. The best news so far. Well, guess what, guys? By the special grace of God, by the special grace of God, it was recently announced that the Dangote refinery has kickstart operation. They are finally, the refinery is finally refining crude oil. Petroleum, uh, petroleum, whatsoever you want to call it. Finally, and it was announced. They said, great news. Congratulations, Nigeria. Dangote Refinery, the world's largest single train refining with the capacity to refine over 650,000 barrels of crude oil per day has finally come to life. This is massive for Nigerians because of the significant impact it's going to bring. Some of you, you guys do not still believe that actually this refinery will exist. <laughs> I swear, there are some Nigerians that said that are still saying that, ah, if I cannot see that refinery, Kuru Kuru, I don't believe it exists. This on, on, on uh, online news, TV saying there's Dangote refinery. Let us go there and let us see there's indeed there's a refinery called Dangote refinery in Lagos because it's located in Lagos. Let us go there and see it. That is where they are going to be. And even if they see it, they don't see that smoke and workers there. They will not still believe that that refinery exists. But I do not blame the Nigerians who do not believe, though. Me, myself, I'm still really skeptical. <laughs> Let me be honest, because there have been a lot of things that the federal government have been telling us that they are trying to bring. After all, this country, they said they are bringing Nigeria airline. They even brought planes, painted it. <laughs> this country, oh, they painted planes with Nigeria logo. At the end of the day, oh, call, there is no single plane to represent any Nigeria airline. So if in such country something like that can happen, of course, people will have doubt. Well, after well, they just announced that Dangote refinery has finally kicked start. So how does this impact us? Even Dangote actually uh thanked Tunubu for his assistance. Dangote thanked Tunubu. 
So how does this actually reflect, affect us common men? Common men in Nigeria. Will it reduce the price of a petroleum product? I do not think so, no. Will it, with petroleum product always be available? Yes, I think petroleum product will always be available. But how will it affect us? Will it affect the power sector? I think so very, very well, drastically. Then what? How is it going to affect us? Since the petroleum product will not reduce because after all, if we reduce, every other thing in the Nigeria market will reduce. If we increase, every other thing in the Nigeria market will increase. That is just the bottom truth. Transportation will increase, of course. Commodity will increase. But if we reduces, uh, many things in Nigeria will reduce. Yes, yeah, so locally made things in Nigeria will reduce. So I don't know how it's going to affect us. Most Nigeria do not care as long as we tell them, ah, it's going to reduce this cost, so it's going to bring more money, it's going to reduce things in the market. Then we say, okay, yes, you guys are now talking. Well, Tilibu made a statement recently. He said, Nigerians have no reason to be poor. Nigerians have no reason to be poor. Well, let me read this for you. Calm down, calm down. Let me read it. According to his quote, he said, We have no reason to be poor. Looking back on where we are coming from, where we have been, why are we facing infrastructure decay? A lack of quality and comprehensive education, as well as a lack of health facility. We are not a cost country, but blessed. You can convert people. You can appeal to people to come to your side. We have children of school age who are out of school. The way to promote education is to get all governors, including the opposition governors, in, involved in the school feeding programs. Please take it seriously. We have not measured the children as statistics. We should measure their returns to classroom as our achievements. We should see economic growth in terms of value and empowerment. We should set up a committee to look into the method. I am ready to invest in school feeding. That is coming from President. You know, recently he stopped the end power program, suspended the end power, humanitarian, many, many things in humanitarian suspended them. The school feeding suspended it. I am so, so happy for that. You should suspend it. See, there are some few decisions Tinubu has made there this year that I'm very, very happy about. I wasn't even expecting it from him. Most especially that end power. Ah, you know how that end power, I don't take that end power and make money. Me, I don't register for end power several times I get. End power is even, even better than you can uh, register. What about the humanitarian, those school feed and everything? You cannot register, but yet they are sharing money. Where are people getting money? They don't know. We, the root of, we don't even know from left to right how the money is going about. They just say they share money and they share money. Release the names of people you shared money to. Create a website and release the name of people you share money to. If you want to be actually be transparent. Eh, honestly, Nigeria do not have the re don't have any reason to be poor. If we are honest with ourselves, Nigeria have no reason to be poor. Nigeria no get one single reason to be poor. If we are honest with ourselves, what is it that we do not have? We are only focused on the uh, petroleum, petroleum uh, things. What about other natural resources? Do you know how many natural resources in every in every city, in every state, they they have one or two natural resources in Nigeria. What are we doing about it? Nothing. People are out there just mining the natural resources for their personal gain. We have no reason to be poor. We have no reason to be poor. We have no reason to be poor. And that is absolutely true. Absolutely true. They pay me, 
is paining me seriously. Well, the Dango Te Refinery, now he has to start. Let's see. Maybe things will start getting better. So to end this video, check out this statement coming from OBO. You know, we started with OBO, so let's end it with OBO. He said, it's boring having money by yourself. Okay, you know what? Let me give you a suggestion, David. Go. You have team. You have been sharing money with them. Why don't you start doing more of charity? You are, you are, you are trying, to, but do more of charity. Give me money. I need money. I, me, I need money. Give me the money. If, if, if a few thousands of dollars, like ten thousand dollars, is enough for me. Well, I, I will always support you for my channel. Every time, whether you do bad or you don't do bad, though, I will support you for my channel. Give me the money. Mm, if you are, if it's boring having money by yourself, it's it's true though. David, though, family has money, so he's not. He doesn't have any extra weight on him. But uh, if you are in a family, so that you don't have money, it will be extremely boring. Let your friend also have money. Let your family have money. Let your brother have money. So that you guys can be sharing it around. Mm -hmm.